Welcome to the Posh Travel Blog. I'm Christina. And I'm Stuart. And we've just uh, disembarked the wonderful Region 7 Seas Explorer from Hong Kong to Tokyo. So we've now arrived into Tokyo and we've got five uh, nights five post nights. cruise. Yeah, so the five nights is going to consist of one night in Tokyo. And we've actually booked a tour with Via Tour, a private tour uh, for the two of us. This is a six hour walking tour. It is pouring with rain and cold today, but anyway, still be good fun. And then we're going in the, on the bullet train tomorrow morning to Nagano. Aren't we? And we're going to see the snow, snow monkeys. monkeys, and we've yeah. got a tour there to see um, the shrine, the temple there, snow monkeys, and a sake tasting experience. And we're um, staying in a local uh, Ryokan, I think I'm pronouncing that yeah, right. Ryokan. 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 Yeah, um, With the onsen, with hot springs overnight. We're having a 10 course Ooh, sorry. Um, meal uh, there. I think you sit on the floor, so it's going to be all very uh, authentic. Um, and, the and then morning, we're taking early. the coach to the ski resort. And we're going to have two days skiing there, yeah. aren't we? So that'll be brilliant. Um, uh, we'll tell you more about that later. We're getting on a local bus, so that should be um, all good fun. Yeah, and then we're back to, uh, to the Intercontinental Hotel for one more night, um, just to do a last bit, bit of shopping before heading back home. So, yeah, so, so, yeah. so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, please follow us and subscribe. We've, we've just put on a review as well of our wonderful experience on Region 7 Seas Explorer. Thanks for watching. So we're on our tour. We've this met. is Mike. He's lovely. Hi. From, what was the name of the company? City Unscripted. City Unscripted, and we booked this with Via Tour. Yeah. So, um, and but this Mike's is be great. met us at the Intercontinental this morning, yeah. and now he's, we've come down to the subway, and um, we've got 24 hour passes for the rail system. Yeah. Um, and we're in Mike's hands. Yeah. He's going to take us all to the best places yeah, okay. in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. God, it's packed to the gunnels. Look how many people are on it. So this is Asakusa district, which we're still in. We've just been through the shops. And um, this is Sensoji Temple. Sensoji, Mike? Is that yeah, Sensoji Temple. And it's stunning, look. And Mike said when the cherry blossoms are out, it's even more beautiful. Gorgeous. Lovely district. Knesso knife, knife shop. And we had to come back, back after 20 minutes. Established in 1873. The gentleman is just uh, sharpening the knife on a knife sharpener. And then in the water. I mean, that is just. Wow, what a tradition. So we're now in a fan shop, which is the most famous fan shop, and everything's handcrafted and hand painted. Uh, the tops of geisha girls. Um, and Michael's to uh, buy these gorgeous fans. Yeah. Look at that. All made out of bamboo and hand painted. It's really lovely. And there's all lovely little um, craft shops uh, surrounding. And they've all been in the family for 100, over 100 years. And this particular one sells hand cream and lip balm. And our guide just looks absolutely fabulous. But for gifts or whatever, they've actually got the birthday. So, um, so we're going to buy some gifts here. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, whatever you recommend. Squid. Yeah, squid squid's nice, yeah. So we've come into a noodle and a tempura bar, so yeah. this is yeah. yummy. Something else you want? Um, what else? Wait. So this is Aki Havara. Excuse the pronunciation. And this is like the biggest gaming area. All these buildings. That building there, we go. It's for second-hand gear, and this one here, anything to do with gaming, is the biggest one in the world, I think it is. 
Yeah, and there's people even dress up like the game characters and eat in restaurants. But anything to do with gaming, so. But we're not really into gaming, so, so I don't really understand. But yeah, it's impressive. Oh, amazing. So we're back at the hotel. We're thawing out In now. the warm. It's, it's, I can't tell you how cold it's been today. If you're coming to Tokyo in March, bring plenty of layers yeah. and, and thick winter coats because it's bitingly it's cold. Really but right big. now we're going to run a hot bath, I've have a hot up. cup of yeah. tea. I've got the teapot, the authentic <laughs> teapot out there and I've managed to find some tea. I'm not sure what brand, what flavour of tea I've got. It's a green tea. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's um, warm. <laughs> exactly. And then tonight we're going teppanyaki in the hotel. We're in the Intercontinental Hotel in Tokyo and they've got a fabulous teppanyaki restaurant on the top floor yes. overlooking the city. So Yeah, that should be good fun. Yeah. So watch this space. So tonight we are on the 37th floor of the Intercontinental Hotel in Tokyo. Tokyo, I have to pinch myself when I say that. And we've got prime window seat here. Well, look at the view. It's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing. The chef is about to cook us a wonderful teppanyaki meal teppanyaki. with Wagyu beef, no less. Oh, of course. <laughs> Been up since six, <laughs> so um, we're off now to the station to catch the bullet train, and we're actually going business class, so that should be a real experience. So here we go. On our way. Morning. <laughs> just about to get on the train, and we're in grand class, which is going to be very impressive. They're just cleaning it now. So this is Grand Class on the bullet train. We're the only ones in here. Oh my god, look at this. This is pretty impressive. Wow, I've never been on a train like this before. Make up for the early start. It will about an hour and a half the journey, so it'll be lovely, won't it? Look at it. That is something else, isn't it? Height of luxury. Have you arrived? Oh, we're off. Oh my gosh, we are moving. It's quick. Just like that. Amazing. Oh, this is going to be very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, we've just gone through a tunnel which has just gone on and on and on. It must be miles long. And we've just come through the end of it and we're in the snow. So we've arrived in Nagano, we've found our guide. Lynn. We've been given our tour pass as a snow monkey resort. That's who we booked so, through. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're going to head. members of our group to turn up. And then we're heading off to the, see the snow monkeys. We've had to choose what we want for lunch. It's a, choice. It's a hot pot lunch, so chicken, vegetable, or beef. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. But don't get scared because that's not the alcohol content. That's actually the polishing ratio of the rice, which is very important for sake because it determines the quality of the sake. So they have different um, classifications, and the, the best quality is called uh, Daiginjo. 
So now we're, we've just done the sake tasting, which was really interesting because mm, we've never warm. tasted it before, have we? It's warmed me right through. It has. Mm. Uh, that was after our Starbucks hot chocolate. Yeah. And now we're heading for lunch. So we've just arrived at the um, local restaurant for our lunch. Doesn't it look amazing? Work of art. Sushi. And this is the hot pot with the beef in it. It's really good, isn't it? And a local Sephora beer. Oh, well, we can pick a drink, can't we? Right, we're going to enjoy this. That was an absolutely delicious lunch. Wonderful, wasn't it? Really, really lovely. lovely. That hot pot was to die for. So now we're heading to the uh, snow monkeys. This is the best part. Yeah, if you're ever in Nagano, though, you must try this the one out. Monzen. Monzen Terrace. Really good. Delicious. Getting very snowy and very quiet. Isn't it? Oh, there's the gift shop. This is lovely. Oh, there's the trail. Well, if it's good enough for Joanna Lomely, it's good enough for us. So it's quite a trek. It's half an hour walk up here and there's steps and slopes and it's slippery. So if you do book the Snow Monkey Park, take good boots, warm clothes and you can actually hire boots at the bottom if you haven't got them or crampons or yeah, anything like that. But it's brilliant. So we've arrived at the Snow Monkey Park, to the pool, and here is one of the fellas. Hello, monkey. Oh, it's gone under. And there is the pool. Get round a bit closer in a minute. When you walk back down from the monkey park, this is the last stretch of road. It's a bit icy and snowy and slippery, but at the bottom is a cafe, and they've got famous apple pies here. So we've just ordered one, and, and also they do all the hot drinks, hot chocolate, glue, vine. So here we are. With the apple and custard pie, it's to die for. It's flaky pastry. <laughs> Yum. Delicious. Don't eat it all. <laughs> and uh, a hot glue vine with something on the top. Gorgeous. So look how close the hotel is to the exit to the Snow Monkey Park. Kambayashi Hotel. So we've just arrived at the Rio Can, Raya Can, and we've been shown to our room by a lovely very gracious gentleman. Uh, we were told to take our shoes off at the door. Um, we can put on the little wooden um, cloggy type flip-flops we choose or we just walk in our, our socks. We've opted for a, a Japanese room and it's absolutely gorgeous. We just came in here and it, it just blew us away really. Really did. You and we, he, you, the gentleman told us to, to sit down on our Japanese on our seat knees, and he's like kneeled this. down at the end of the table, didn't he? Yeah. He's given us, from now on, we'll get changed and we've both been given an outfit. He, he said the outfits that he'd left were too small for us because we, 
We're big. Quite tall. <laughs> so I've got a pink one and a green one, and we'll wear those to go into the baths. We wear them to go to the restaurant at dinner. So that's our outfit. So you'll see us change into those shortly. Um, when we go down to dinner, he will convert this into a, a, a bed on the floor, like a futon. A futon, um, yeah, with thick feather duvet, uh, yeah. um, duvets and pillows and everything. Yeah, he said that's the hot pot. I imagine there was going to be a, a casserole <laughs> in there, but I think that means a kettle. And this box here is uh, tea, green tea, so we must drink it. Oh, it looks, lovely, isn't, it? isn't that lovely? With a hot pot. Yeah. Um, and then we have, oh, there's the telephone. It's just so oh, lovely to actually experience a Japanese room. It's amazing. There's body towels and lovely... Lovely flannels there, with like fan motifs on. Looks lovely. It's really, really. Can you believe so the tasteful. Emperor of Japan stayed here five times? No. That's really. I bet the staff are amazing. And then it's through incredible. here, these sliding doors. These are these like, Japanese. So those rice paper. Paper doors. Sliding doors. It's got a very zen with like. The view. Look at that view. And a balcony. I'm not sure how to open this. Oh, don't, it's cold. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Wow. That is stunning. Lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's close that up. And, uh, yeah, we've got a toilet, um, a separate a little, toilet. Yeah, a toilet and some, some little slippers here as well. I don't know if I can get my big feet into them. Oh, I can. <laughs> Hmm. I just <laughs> got about in my slippers. <laughs> um, and here there's a little basket. It's all so just delicate. I feel so big. <laughs> it's, for, it's for little Japanese yeah. ladies. Um, and lovely wooden top sort of basin. And you've got hairbrush and toothbrushes. I did have a product. Everyone knows I love my products. And um, they smell divine. Absolutely lovely. So everything there. And this is lovely. It's a typical Japanese bathroom uh, with the shower and the bath here. And it's a really, really deep bath. And again, all the products all in, in there as well. All in one room. This is the same in the hotel in Tokyo. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's just a it's little, just a little, a little uh, bucket. Little bucket. So, this is going to be interesting. It's fabulous, Whoops. isn't it? <laughs> so now we will now dress ourselves appropriately and head for the spa. <laughs> So here we are dressed in our traditional outfit, the yukata, with a cloak which Christina doesn't want to wear. I don't think I'm supposed to wear the cloak. I think <laughs> I'm meant to have something that goes on my back. You so. are supposed to wear the cloak. <laughs> and um, you can't to see from there, but look at the socks. They've got little toe posts in them so you can put them into the flip-flop. So. Yeah. so it's 6.45, nice early dinner. And no doubt we'll be finished in about an hour and we'll be in bed by 8 o'clock, which is what we've been dying for. So, um, so tired. Yeah. So we're right, bright and busy for tomorrow, so yes, here we go. <laughs> just back from the hot springs which was absolutely idyllic you sit in really hot water about 30 over 30 degrees and the snow's coming down and it's just wonderful a very relaxing um, so now we're back in the room and I've just got to show you the view tonight look at this snowing lovely so we've just come down to dinner and it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and we're in a private little area. You can see around the dining room. It says we've got green onion, udu and surf clam, a vinegared miso with mustard, firefly squid and cucumber, sakura mochi, deep fried fiddleheads, ostrich, ostrich fern. I don't know what a fiddlehead is, do you? I don't know, we're about to find out. Butter burst sprout and Japanese ice fish. This is going to be something else, I think. We better, we better commence. Yeah. <laughs> We're back at the room 
and uh, they've made it all up, which looks lovely. So I'll just show you. So we've got our futon beds made up on the floor, but there's twin, twin beds. Yeah, and there's a little paper folding. Little paper crane, I think they are. Crane, yeah. On there, yeah. So, and I tell you, after we've had quite a few late nights and early starts, they're going to feel like heaven on earth. <laughs> We're going to get in there. Yeah. And literally, the other thing, isn't it, about dinner, is that they the Japanese eat so mm. quickly. I mean, we literally got in there at 6.45, and we were done by 7.50. Oh, it was 10 course, 10 course meals, so I thought, well, this is going to be an affair, but it... It was just coming out really fast. And it yeah. happened last night as well at the teppanyaki. Yeah. You haven't even finished one course, the next course, the next course, the next course. Bang, yes. all over, and they're out the restaurant and gone, everybody, to bed. At least we've got an early night. <laughs> well, we wanted an early night, so. Oh, so amazing. now we're going to hit those sack, hit those beds, have a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we're heading to the ski resort, so. Good, good night, night, everybody. So that's our overnight hotel done at the Ken Bayashi Hotel, Senjukaku. I'm Some glad awful. I got that right. <laughs> well done. So if you're looking for it, um, you can always message us anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's brilliant for a Japanese, oh. a real Japanese experience on right on the entrance to the Monkey Park. There's no restaurants around here, just the hotel restaurant, and there's one restaurant in town, but it gets booked up. And there's a little cafe up there near the Monkey Park that serves, well, Still snacks, yeah. chips, and things like that. So uh, fries. Real Japanese. We're, I think we were the only Westerners in the in the dining room. So um, yeah, we had yeah we a, were. we've had an amazing experience. We incredible. really have. Yeah, I mean, You've we've really immersed it. ourselves in Japanese culture last night. It was it was fantastic. So, but now it's five minutes walk from here down to the Snow Monkey Bus Resort, uh, bus resort, bus stop, and uh, then the bus is forty minutes to take us up to um, um, the ski God, resort, Siga Kojin. Honestly, the Japanese, I really struggle with the pronunciation. Really well. I, um... I think it's Siji Kojin. We'll confirm that when we get there. So we're off. See you soon. Bugger, we missed the bus stop. <laughs> we're on the wrong. Stop well, he stopped at every stop apart from the one we need, and then he just drove straight sure. past. Anyway, so we've just got to walk all the way up that hill now and get to our hotel. That was clever, wasn't it? So we've arrived. Shiga Kogan Prince Hotel East Wing, which is supposed to be the best of the three. Um, it's so quiet, look. Fabulous. So we're just at the check-in, you won't believe it, and we got here at 10.30 in the morning, and they've given us our rooms already, and the ski lockers are there, and the shop's just there, and the lift pass machine is just there. So, I mean, how easy is this? And Murray has uh, made us a reservation for dinner. Yeah, Murray's brilliant. She's told us everything. So this is amazing, isn't it? So excited. So we're here. Just arrived. Checked in. Look at that view. And look at that view, and it's just, honestly, it's the most simplistic check-in and ski. I mean, to get your room at half past ten in the morning, look at that. What a view. Incredible. And it's a, a sort of a Western Japanese crossover room here. Yeah, the beds are quite nice. Mm. Rusty. <laughs> and we're probably the oldest ones <laughs> on the slope. Anyway, there see how you fare. Wonderful slopes and views are spectacular. There she goes. Whee! Amazing. Come for dinner. So we've come down for dinner and it's like a big, big buffet and <coughs> the main course is waiter service. It's really strange because there's sort of carving joints up there and we've ordered... And a head of lasagna. Yeah, so there's like lots of main dishes but she said, do you want steak or chicken? So You can have all the buffet and then you have a main course. Well, that, well, that was main courses anyway. That's, I think it's catering for Westerns, is it? 
quite yeah it's a mix of western cum understand it yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway we chose just a salad some french onion soup we're going western and then a steak <laughs> Perfect conditions today. I mean, it's still snowing, but if that blue sky would come back, it's a lovely powder. It's 7.55 bus, we, kept, we decided to get an earlier one because we want to go back to Turkey because we've got to see some more sights. Uh, so we thought, well, we we're up at 6.30, let's just get up and go. It snowed, it must have snowed all night. Look at the snow on those cars and, and outside the hotel over there. It's just like piled high. Anyway, we've just seen the bus go down, so we know it's coming back. Yeah, because so, they still uh, allow an extra hour, don't they? The buses might not run, but, yeah, but they anyway. Seem to run like they just stick some snow chains on them. So yeah, so that's it. So we're going to go and see some more sights in Tokyo. Oh, it's a bit chilly here though. managed to change the tickets and they've got a meal service on the train so which we never got to try before so that'll be good but that bus even though it was snowing there was a traffic jam you name it it came in exactly at 9.45 when it's meant to I don't know how they do it in Japan we've got we have got a lot to learn so yeah so we're gonna get the tickets now and get on the next train a little bit defeated and um, the attendants was being a lot defeated <laughs> and uh, offered us our, our drinks which we've ordered and then I ordered the western meal and the Japanese meal I found Stu wanted the western I was going to go for the Japanese but she said the food is all gone apparently it's like Ryanair full train and she said they're out of stock of all food so all we can have is cake a piece of cake, cake. I think, let but, them eat cake so um, yeah just a little bit so that's really yeah. disappointing when we just paid extra for it yeah oh well amazing as well case there are I'm sure we're not going to starve so this is the main entrance to the Tokyo station it's pretty impressive and I know that there's stunning, a, isn't it? Yeah, the architecture. I think Look that's at a that. luxury hotel, the um, station hotel, which is really yeah. Because we were going to try and stay there, um, but the price was really high. But it's quite sort of colonial. Sort How of impressive is that? It really, isn't this? Oh, lovely. Feel the sun. So we're all checked in at the Intercontinental again. Great hotel, super location, like we mentioned before. Gave us our rooms early, didn't they? So they give us the rooms early, both, they have given them both times, which has been yeah, amazing. Yeah, fantastic. So now we're just going to the um, Imperial Palace, and the concierge has been amazing. They've booked us some tower tickets for tomorrow morning. It's the wrong, wrong, Rapongi. Oh, I can't, Rapongi. Rapongi Park Tower. Apparently you get the best views of Mount Sky Fuji view, it's in, cool. In the, in the morning and you can go outside on the heliport deck so um quite an experience you have to pre-book that so that's all done for 10 o'clock brilliant though morning. so yeah and now we're walking to the imperial palace she said it's 15 minutes walk max i think it's a half did she say 15 oh, she said 15 now. minutes i think yeah 15 minutes so anyway we're walking because yeah. the weather's glorious um yeah so and then we'll take the subway from there and go and have a look at the shibua causing everyone says you've got to see so. brilliant so this is the entrance to the Imperial Palace. I just read that gate was built in, sorry, the Japanese name eludes me, but it was built in 1624, I think it was. So it's very historical. Look at those walls. Right in the center. 
amazing how the city all just backs onto the park in a long line. So you can book tours to go in to see the inner grounds, um, but they, they don't operate on a Sunday and a Monday. And today's Sunday, and we fly <laughs> home tomorrow, which is Monday. You have to pre-book it, and you they do. go at 10 o'clock in the morning or 1.30, and you book it online. And so. it's a 75-minute tour, but I bet it's fascinating. Yeah, apart from that, there's two dates, 2nd of... Uh, I think it's 2nd of January and 23rd January, of February. Which is um, his, the Emperor's birthday is February and obviously it must be New Year that they open up to the public and he does make appearances apparently. He so. makes appearances but you can't go into the palace itself. No. Which is a shame. <laughs> That's the Shibaya crossing. Busiest crossing in the world. Right, we're going to cross. <laughs> So we're at the top of a tower, we paid 1,500 yen each. £7.50. Yeah, bargain. Yeah. And you get and, a drink um, included. Oh, you get a drink included. Hot drink or a beer yeah. or spirit. And uh, yeah, most spectacular view of the crossing. Here you go. Good morning. Good morning. So it's our last morning. We're off to the airport in a couple of hours. <coughs> Just time enough to get up to the um, observatory in the Mori building, uh, Rapongi Hills. So uh, yeah, we should get some fabulous views from the top. We want to see Mount Fuji. Well. Hopefully, it's a clear day, but there is a little bit of a haze, so hopefully you'll still see it. Good morning, our last morning in Tokyo and where else but the 52nd floor of the Mori Tower with 360 view, views of the city of Tokyo, it's incredible. We've got amazing views of Mount Fuji there which is unheard of actually or very very rarely you get to see it so yeah, clearly. Yeah, you need a clear sunny day and we're so lucky to get that because we it's are. been wet and cold as you've seen on our video um, but today no perfect so it's our it's our send off really. Um, the tower uh, cost 1800 yen to come up. Which is about eight pounds per person. Eight so pounds, really ten, fair. eleven dollars mm -hmm. and you can either book it online or uh, book it um, with your hotel concierge. Yeah. You need to book in advance because we couldn't get in yesterday could we? The weather was pretty good. Yeah. So um, yeah book it online or or in advance because it's just a limited number of people can come up here so yeah, we've got it almost so, to ourselves. Yeah it's so quiet yeah. in here there is an exhibition going on and the and the Japanese girls are really excited about it something about Alice in Wonderland but we're not going to go into that. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching yeah. that's the end of our journey we're going back to the airport shortly to fly back um, we're going. Yeah I was going to say hopefully it's given you an insight if you are pre or post cruise and um, just you know, it helps, helps you decide uh, you know gives you a few ideas. Yeah, and anyway. if you want to email us, if you've got any questions about any of this, um, who we booked with or anything like that, just send us an email or, or message and we'll respond. Yeah, yeah, so. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Yeah, Thank so you very thanks much. for watching and goodbye. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much in Japanese. Bye. All the best. Bye.